Hey everybody, just want to do a quick video on fly masks because it's fly season and uh, there are flies everywhere. You can get uh, fly masks for a pretty good price, anywhere between probably 15 to 40, 50 bucks, depending on the quality or the type or the fit or the material um, or just where you buy them. And uh, there are just flies everywhere now. Uh, it's just getting into this warmer season here in uh, BC and uh, during the warmer days, nice sunny day or clear day, the flies are just everywhere. They're all over the horses. And one of the things to think about if you have all these flies on them is they, they like to go to the eyes a lot and they'll get to the mouth and any cuts on their face or their body, the flies will just like magnets. For cuts and stuff like that, the only way to get around uh, not having flies on them is to bandage them, uh, cover them up with something. Um, you can use a zinc oxide or petroleum jelly even uh, to keep the flies off of those wounds so they can heal up uh, a little bit quicker. Um, and the horses won't rub on them a lot, you know, because it's quite itchy. Like that. Now, I don't really want them to rub on me, um, especially during fly season. One thing to think about safety-wise, never, or... For safety purposes, you wouldn't want to let your horse rub on you during fly season. <clears throat> or any season really because when a fly gets to them get back here Come here back up. Thanks when a fly gets on them and they're sort of scratching or rubbing There might be one that just sort of really irritates them and they'll lift their head up or they'll shake it and in Situations like that you can easily get hit in the head um, or the body any part of your body and it can really hurt because their heads weigh a lot and they're very powerful. So for safety purposes alone, I would recommend never really letting your horse itch on you or rub on you or scratch on you. Um, just for that. I mean, if you feel like you're safe, you feel like it's okay, uh, you know, to each his own, it's cool. But it's something to think about. If you do do that, you may not have been aware uh, if you're new to horses or, or, or just have never experienced it because it does happen. Maybe not a lot, but once in a while for sure. So. I'm just going to show you. I've got two fly masks here. One of them fits them and one of them doesn't because they come in different sizes. This one, you can see, is an extra large. This one, hi Luke. This one is size horse. Size horse. He's pretty normal size, so we just call it size horse uh, for this particular brand. Um, but the reason why you want to get one that fits is because horses tend to rub these things off and they're not necessarily trying to get them off. They might if they're uncomfortable or itchy. These nice fuzzy ones here, um, when you wash them, they stay wet for a little while unless you kind of wring them out or put them on a towel. But they're a little bit nicer than something that's a little bit um, uh, rougher, I guess you could say. So we've got Two different sizes. The green one is actually Luke's. The red one is Lena's because she's a much bigger horse. She's part draft slash Oldenburg. So they're quite large animals, big heads. Um, you might use these for standard breads or a large thoroughbred head or a quarter horse that's, you know, been a stallion for a while perhaps. They got bigger heads. Anyways, so a bigger one, while it will fit, um, the, the horse will more easily rub it off. Now, generally you don't put these things on with their halter on, but it's sort of a bit puffy. And if, if you look here, I can actually wrap it all the way under and it's not really what you want. Not really what you want. So the bottom part of it, and I'll show you, comes together and it's just Velcro. So this piece of Velcro comes up, this piece of Velcro comes on. So if this overlaps too much, then you're not gonna get this proper bond where this piece comes back over. So that's why you wouldn't use too big of one because if you do fit it on properly and it fits as it's supposed to maximum to there so that this can fold over, um, then you just get a really baggy uh, fit and they'll very easily just kind of rub them on a fence post or something like that and it'll come right off. So putting them on is very, very simple these ones. Um, others, others can be a little more involved, some a little less involved. And uh, very strong when you double do the double Velcro thing. So we'll just wait for them to be okay. A little bit itchy. Again, there's lots of 
flies and mosquitoes around this time of year. It's warming up and just getting to that time. So just put it on over his ears carefully. Your ears are very sensitive. <clears throat> now there's a lot of flies. I don't know if you can see them in the video, but there's flies hanging around. Now I wouldn't usually do this with a halter on. I'm just doing it for now because I'm going to take it off so he can play with the boys in the, in the um, arena here. But this fits, and I'll just take this here and show you. This fits like this, you know. So slimming it down to where it's on his face properly and fits well up here on his ears and stuff like that should not make this part extend to here or beyond here. Beyond here. So it won't. So we'll just get this on reasonably straight and that goes on like that and you're done. Obviously with no halter but I'm just about to let him go play and stuff and and while you can let horses sort of play with fly masks on and everything, if you have the opportunity to not do it, it'd be better. They can see better, it's a little bit easier. Um, if they are just loafing around in an area, you'd, you'd toss it on, I mean. He's gotta fly somewhere in here. And last but not least, if you can take their forelock out, like so. Luke, stop it. I get it, you're itchy, you poor thing. Get off. If you can take their forelock out, do so. You know, it just makes it a little more comfy for them. Um, so, anyways, I'm gonna take that off from here, but uh, just a couple of quick tips. Putting fly masks on, things to think about, why you do it, safety, big deal. And then, um, <laughs> you look ridiculous, they look ridiculous to be honest, but they're good for them. It's good for the horse, uh, keeps the flies away, keeps them from, sometimes actually Luke has, a little bit of an injury on his, but above his eye. Take this off. Again, taking it off, be gentle, just come across their ears nicely, like that. But you can see right here, he has a, he hit his head. Now, it was a little swollen, but he's fine now. But he uh, likely hit his head because he's shaking his head around so much and he probably hit something. Um, like that, you know? They shake their head around a lot when there's flies. And there's just flies everywhere, as you can see. I don't know. They're pretty quick movers. So something to think about. Hopefully that helps. And uh, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.